Dozens of United States Army medium-range rocket launcher systems HIMARS, arrived in the Philippines on Wednesday, the 27th of December 2023. HIMARS was then immediately deployed to the Western Philippine Sea and launched hundreds of missiles towards the South China Sea. The missile launch was carried out to repel Chinese ships in the South China Sea. China claims most of the South China Sea as its territory, but this claim is rejected by many countries, including the Philippines. HIMARS is an artillery rocket system that can be transported by the Hercules C-130 aircraft. The system has a range of up to 70 kilometers, so it can be used to attack Chinese ships in the South China Sea. The Philippine government welcomed the arrival of USHIMARS. Philippine Defense Minister Delphin Lorenzana said HIMARS would strengthen the Philippines' defense capabilities in the South China Sea. The high-mobility artillery rocket system has gained international attention in recent years, particularly in the war in Ukraine, but a U.S. Army unit challenged the system's ability to rapidly deploy in a drastically different Pacific Island environment this month during the bilateral training exercise known as Balakatan in the Philippines. HIMARS made a trip down to the southwestern island of Palawan and up to northern Luzon, hitching rides on C-130S and being whisked from ship to beach using U.S. Marine Corps amphibious hovercraft called Landing Craft Air Cushion, or LCACs. These vessels are large enough to carry an M1 Abrams tank the Lockheed Martin manufactured HIMARS is a truck-mounted, mobile rocket launcher that can carry six missiles at a time. Lockheed has seen a large increase in HIMARS orders from a wide variety of countries in Europe but was also recently slated to provide a few to Indo-Pacific nations, including Taiwan. While this is not the first time HIMARS was used at the annual training exercise in the Philippines, the 5th Battalion, 3rd Field Artillery Regiment, Long Range Fires Battalion of the 1st Multi-Domain Task Force tried to demonstrate how it can be transported and quickly deployed in a plethora of different ways including via non-army assets, Captain Garrett Kong, battery commander of Alpha Battery, told Defense News at Lalo Airport. During the exercise the Army and its partners demonstrated two HIMARS Rapid Infiltration HIRAIN, operations. On May 1, the Army hauled two HIMARS aboard a semi-truck from Fort Magsaysay located in central Luzon to an airfield in Subic Bay on the southwestern side of the Philippines' largest island. The HIMARS launchers were then loaded into a U.S. Air Force C-130 transport aircraft and flown roughly 700 kilometers to the San Vincent airfield on Palawan Island. The Army then took HIMARS on a tactical road march to San Vincent Beach and loaded the systems onto LCACS, which then drove into the ocean to the U.S. Navy's and amphibious transport dock Somerset, which then traversed the western coast south to Rizal. The LCACs delivered HIMARS ashore at the beach for a live fire exercise that included other assets such as 105mm howitzers from the Philippine Armed Forces. Following the live fire exercise, the HIMARS systems took a reverse trip back to Subic Bay. The entire process took 72 hours, according to Kong. However, it takes just 30 minutes to load a HIMARS into AC-130 and 10 minutes from rolling off the aircraft to be ready to fire, Kong said. Two days later, the battery prepared to load the two HIMARS systems to fly them via C-130 to Lilo, located in north-central Luzon not far from the shore. Plans had to be adjusted when one C-130 experienced a problem requiring maintenance and so the Army took just one HIMARS up north from Subic Bay. At Lilo, a commercial airport shut down for military operations during Balakatan, the HIMARS system conducted a series of simulated live fires, receiving fire mission commands from the All Domain Operations Center, part of the MDTF, set up in the Philippines at a base near Manila. Then the battery conducted another tactical road march on May 7 from Lalo to Port Irene, a distance of 40 kilometers. The system has participated in a previous iteration of Balakatan. Last year it played a part in a combined, joint live fire exercise where participants tried to sink a ship off the coast at a training facility north of Subic Bay. HIMARS rockets missed the ship at the time. The service identified challenges with targeting because the munitions were not able to easily account for drift.
Cog said drifting at sea is a complex problem because it can take roughly 8 minutes to lock in a target and fire. Ships can move 30 to 40 meters in that time, he explained.